What's up YouTube? Today is our hypertrophy leg day, well legs and abs. And I'm doing, for the first exercise, the leg press instead of squats. The reason that I'm doing the leg press instead of squats is because my my hips, my lower back is still playing up. It feels really tight, I need to fix it. And I'm still doing squats for my heavy leg day, so I thought I'll give my lower back a bit of a break on my hypertrophy leg day and do leg press. So here I'm going for 12 reps with 140 kilos. I don't know. These machines are never accurate when it comes to the weight that's that they that they say. So anyway, I'm doing 140 kilos, going for 12 reps. I've got the setting on the seat to the lowest uh, the lowest position, so I'm getting as much range of motion as possible. But I wish that it would go a bit lower because it doesn't really go that far down. But anyway, today's topic of the video is making adaptations so adapting and the reason that I want to talk about that is because when it comes to training I'm at a point in my uh, contest prep where I've had I had to make some changes and adapt uh, both in my training and my nutrition so like I said with my lower back uh, playing up a bit I've had to adapt change my program so that I can still work on legs by doing the leg press instead of squats for my hypertrophy day. Because of the last couple of weeks in um, the bachelor party for my brother's wedding and his actual wedding, my diet has uh, plateaued a little bit. I mean, my, my weight loss. So I've had to change my diet. So now I'm, my macros are about 240 grams of protein, about 100 grams of carbs. It's pretty low. I wanted to keep it higher as long as I could, but because my weight isn't dropping as quickly as I liked, so I had to make some changes and drop it even more. And my fats are about 60, so I'm getting about 2,000 calories a day at the moment, but then I'll do one refeed day at the end of the week, so probably on Saturday, so tomorrow from when I film this. So yeah, you saw us do calves, uh, we thought we'd do calves uh, on, while we're on the leg press still, and then we hit some Romanian deadlifts. You can see my back isn't as arched as I normally do or I would have liked because of the lower back problem. I probably shouldn't have done this exercise today actually because it was feeling extra tight. But I did 110 kilos for 10 reps, 3 sets. We also did 3 sets on the leg press, 4 sets for calves. And then we started on abs. The first exercise we did were ab crunches on the exercise ball. Here I'm using nine kilo, a 9 kilo medicine ball behind my head trying to get a full stretch over the ball and then really contracting the abs at the top, pausing slightly. This is one of the most painful ab exercises that I do and I think the reason for that is because of the stretch and the, the contraction. It's very controlled and you get a full range of motion which I think is really good. So we're going for 15 reps on that. The next exercise we did is the Russian twist, I think they're called. And this we did 12 to 15 reps on either side. And I feel I feel that these are great for the obliques. And the abs overall, but mainly the obliques. Because you know the you're leaning back, so your abs have to engage to maintain that position the whole time. And then the twisting motion, obviously you're you're working the sides, so the sides of the abs, the obliques. The next exercise we did for abs, this is a new exercise that I started doing recently, it's the high cable side bend I think it's called. So this is for another oblique exercise but more for like the sides where your hips are. And it looks like a funky dance move but I feel these really work. And um, yeah we went for high reps again, so 15 reps on either side, just two sets of each. And then we did some cardio, I'm doing 300 calories at the moment, it takes me about 25 minutes on the elliptical trainer. And this stupid machine, that I connected my Bluetooth headphones to do it and sometimes it works and today it didn't. So nothing worked, like the TV, the internet, nothing. But yeah, that was the end of our workout and a little bit of flexing going on. So we just finished training and we got some Thai uh, catfish salad or lap badu in Thai. It's quite spicy, but it's really flavorful. Uh, there's a woman downstairs who sells it, and it's really nice. So 
we just finished uh, doing cardio. We're gonna eat and then I have to go to work. Actually, we both have to go to work. Uh, yeah. And with that, I'm having a natural Fuji green tea. So there's no sugar, so no calories. And a lot is having a Coco Max, which is coconut water. All right, guys, I'm back home after training and after one of my sessions with the client and I'm gonna make my uh, cranberry and yogurt protein mix except today I'm gonna be using this phage total 0% fat Greek yogurt it's quite expensive here because it's imported but because it was an offer I thought I'd get it and use it instead of regular low fat yogurt So I just had my hair cut. Probably isn't probably isn't how I'll style it at all. But I desperately needed one. If if you keep it's easy to keep training the same, you know, once you get into a routine and you keep doing things in the same way, then you get used to it, it becomes easy, simple. But then if you keep doing the same thing, then your results are going to be the same. So taking my example of my contest prep, yeah, at the moment I've plateaued, which means that if I don't change anything, then I'll stay in my current condition. So I need to change what I've changed, which is part of my training. And like I'm doing more cardio, I've changed a few exercises because of a little bit of an injury. And I've changed my diet because I wasn't losing any weight. So things like that, you have to keep adapting to make changes. That being said, you don't want to change too much all the time, otherwise you won't know what works for you and what doesn't. So you, you want to have a good plan, stick to it for a while. Um, if it's good, then it will work, and then you want to milk it for, for how good it is. So keep doing what you're doing while you're making progress, and then once you stop making progress, then that's the time to make some changes and adapt. If you like this video, please click like, and subscribe if you haven't already because you know all the good all the good shit's gonna be here. Well, until next time.